Fact it. Yeah, it's your boy about to send you on the Dismos tale. Won't you lit set and sit back? I told you it's the situation where we at. I'm trying to act and I'm trying to picture this thing where you picture black. They can look side with all this envy and at the same day they still gonna have the same envy. And I don't even know right now what was invested in thee. But I told you it's fat boy and this is my decree. So I'm I'm already burnt up. I'm already Teflon tough and they act like they wanna be too damn. And I'm still spending about a hundred damn mile in them. They still saying your boy can't be that damn foul in them, beginning in them. I'm not trying to be up in the pen in them. And they act like I'm the only one that's destined all to win in them. So I'm going back forth and I'm still going to explain. But I told you, fat boy is my motherfucking name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now they were still thinking that I was not gonna rack all tyrant like a damn dinosaur. I don't even know why they straight up stumping on me. And I didn't even see the signs that they didn't want to foresee that I've been in the back of them for the whole damn internment. And my told you right now is my surgical boys so why am I learning them? I don't even really care about the fake of them. They can keep on hating on your boy till I'm shaking them. Man, I'm going to be me and that's my own the cow. I'm going to do this like your only one golden child. So they can be bad and I can expand. But I'm going to still at the end day be my own man. And I don't even really care why they hating. I told you, your boy right here, I'm too damn patient. And your boy right now, I'm going to be in a van. But I told you, I'll mess you up all over again. So it's hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What's good, family? Peace and blessings be upon all of my brothers and sisters out there. This is your brother Jehoshaphat. And we are back for the show for today. And all glory given to the Most High Yah, for He is worthy. Family, some of the things that I do on my show, God, He be testing me, family. He, he give me all this stuff that I got to do. He be telling me, He be like, I want you to do this. And I want you to do that. I want you to say this. And I want you to say that. And if I don't do or say these things, I'll be in trouble with them. So I got to be honest with you. So you got my intro for my show. You really did because He made me do that. Did I want to do that? No, I'm just being obedient. Okay, now the show for today, we got a whole lot, family. You know what I'm saying? I tried to put some of my, my time to the side, family, so I could get to you, family, so we can go through a whole show. And I've been blessed, so I can't say that these things, oh, they come exactly from me. You know, I'm just that vessel. And you know, I'm going to be, Father, Father, y'all, you are worthy, Father. You are worthy. You are most worthy of all in existence, for you are existence, Father, for you are worthy. Blessed be your name forever and ever, most high Yah, for you are worthy. So I'm grateful, like once more again, that we are here with this show, with the topics for today. So I would like you to sit back. We're going to go over uh, some of these things. And I promise not to cheapen you over the things that we do go over. But I ask that you think about all of these things that we might go over to tonight. 
Now check this out. Now the first the first thing on our list, first thing topic this is just because they don't want to be right before God's eyes and do the right thing, is that going to stop you? Is that going to stop you from doing what is right because of them? That's why that's why or I'm sorry, family. The way that they are and the things I'm sorry, family. So let's go ahead and read this back. So um, just because they don't want to be right before God's eyes do the right thing. And, and is that going to stop you from doing what is right because of them and the things that they do? Will you become like them and fall like feel like it is not your business to be right before his eyes don't let them drag you down to the 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 state of being so family it's like evil evil when when you go outside your front door and you have to deal with the evilness that's inside of this world that a lot of people don't like to to really put a name on it so directly like that but your father already told you what it was you said it what you're dealing with so i don't even know i don't even know why they wouldn't that's on them. But you, when you go out your front door, you're going to have to be dealing with all this damn evil that you're going to be up against. And it sticks to some people like a damn sponge. But is you going to let that evil change the good that you do out in this world? I'm not talking about outweighing no good with no damn evil right now. I'm talking about will you let that stop you from doing evil? Will you let that? Will that? Will that Okay, now you going about your day, you doing all the things that you got to do, you being a good person. That's going to stop. That's going to stop you from being that person because you have to deal evil, you have to deal with evil and evil is against you because you choose to be a servant of the most high Yah, a child of God. So, as you look at your life and as you deal with evil, you're going to have to think, family. I'm not going to let that evil get on me like that to where I can't even have no smile no more, family. I can't even put a smile on my damn face because all that damn evil that's out. Well, I can't say. But then it is, family. It's the evil that's out because you got the principalities. Then you got the evil in the people, the evil outside there in that damn world. Is you going to let that evil rob from the good person that you is? Is you going to let that turn you into what it is? Is you is you going to let that uh shape the things that how how what you want to do and how you want to live now to be free we know we can't we can't be like that family to be really free we can't fear no damn evil but you see it's so many of your people out there they do they do be fearing that evil like that and i'm not saying <laughs> that fear in some situations ain't logical or rational or not even a good damn thing but in your life will you let this evil outweigh the person you are will you let it change you will you let it turn will you will you, will you end up with the evil you, you was fighting will you let this evil that's in this world stop all the goodness that god wants you to do will you let this evil have you not happy in your life and you always thinking about this evil that's inflicting you over your life you you would give evil that much power you can't give evil no power in your life you can't give evil no grounds to stand on you can't give evil no no direct oh well hold on family hold on let me think about this, this last one and i'm gonna leave it on you cannot let evil determine the things you do the person you are and the goodness that you do in this life you can't do it family in any way that you could ever live your life you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna let this evil make me turn into evil even though i gotta face it even though i gotta fight it you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna slowly turn into the evil that i fight against i don't take no pleasure in doing any evil family none none at all so i don't see how people take pleasure in it how people give into it and some people think that they don't even have to have they don't even have to fight against it and those are the same people who get ran over but then people will look at you strange because you want to stand up for your rights and yourself you don't have to do something family
That's a choice that we all gonna have to make. Okay, let's let's move to the next one, family. And um, your brother. You know how I do my shows for the night. It takes me a minute to get warmed up. It takes me a minute to get into my groove. But you are here with your brother tonight. So we all good, family. We all good. Give your brother a second. I'm not completely done for my day today. But we good. And I still got so much time on my hands. And I hurt. And I wanted to hurry up and knock out this video before... um. My uh my seven or my eight because that's cutting into time to where I got to do something else before nine o'clock per hour family. And your brother and your brother, I be on it family. I be on it family, and I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. I'm not claiming to be perfect. That would be disrespectful to the Most High Yah, and I can't do that family. But what I do know is I'm trying really, really, really hard over here, family. You know what I'm saying? On this nine o'clock per hour, as I look at this week, family, as I look at, as I look at this whole year, I only probably miss one time. And the only reason why I say that is because I didn't have the proper time to sit there and do it the way I still got into it. You know what I'm saying? It was there, but I didn't get to spend the time that I wanted to spend. I didn't get to do the things that I would normally do. And I felt bad about it. So as I'm looking up, I only miss what? Probably two, probably two times this whole, this whole, this whole year so far. That's not bad, family. Six days a week, six days a week, family. You know what I'm saying? That full, complete hour. And I told you, I made it to the nine o'clock prayer hour, but I did not get to put up all the prayers like I would usually do. You know what I'm saying? And it, it makes me feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying on my grind. I'm trying up on my grind up over here on this nine o'clock prayer hour. Y'all just don't know. Come get you some. Come be involved in this. This takes dedication. You know what I'm saying? It takes you dedication up on this. You're going to have to build your spirituality up on this one. Now, let's go ahead and get into the uh, the next one. Number two. I don't I don't practice voodoo. And I, and I said and I said this message before, but I guess people just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I guess they just don't understand. So let me read this for the masses of the people out there in the world. I don't practice voodoo or black magic. I'm not Miss Cleo or Dion Warwick. We don't read no tarot card readings. I don't read no palms. I don't be messing with no damn Ouija boards. We don't practice no damn sorcery. And we don't practice good. Uh, What is it? We don't. I don't do none of that, family. That's why I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I don't. I'm not no Miss Cleo. I don't know nothing about no Dion Warwick. I don't practice practice no black magic. I don't practice no voodoo. I don't believe in no deities. I don't. I believe in the supreme being, the most high Yah. You know what I'm saying? And to me, when people tell me about their deities and stuff like that, I look at that as disrespect to God. You know what I'm saying? You hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? You hypocrite. But God is the only one that I serve. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in no black magic. I don't do no voodoo. I don't know no damn Dion Warwick. I, I don't I don't know Miss Cleo. You know what I'm saying? I don't own no damn Ouija board. I don't practice no damn sorcery. I'm not no damn palm reader or no tarot card reader. I don't believe in that stuff, family. I don't believe in none of that. I believe in the most high Yah, him, him alone, the savior and the Holy Spirit. That's it, family. That's it. That's it. That's all. So if you have any questions, when you see me around my city and you ask me what I believe in, just know I don't believe in none of that other stuff. And I only believe in one God. That's it. I don't serve no other gods but the most high Yah. So let's um let's and that's to the people that's around me in the city that always be asking me all these questions all over and oh, what do you believe? What do you believe? What do you mean? What do you, I'm telling you, brother, I'm not gonna be walking with no Bible in my hand all the time like that. I only do that when God wants me to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, I should not have to be, nah, 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 family. Listen and understand. You know what I'm saying? I believe in the most high Yah. I believe in the, the Father, the Lord of all creations. You know what I'm saying? The Alpha and the Omega family. You know what I'm saying? The Lord of hosts. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what to tell these people when they think that I'm into stuff like this, but I'm not. Now, I practice God's power, God's wisdom, God's rules, and his strength. 
What do you think familiar spirits feel about me? They can only look from afar. They can never come into my life and, and wreak havoc on my life. But if you know who and what they are, you can protect yourself from them invading into your life. That's sad. The sad thing about this is that it's the same damn familiar spirit lurking around the corner, hiding in the dark. Let, 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 me, let me give you the heads up on this demonic behavior. The eyes never lie. That, that's how they give themselves away to me every time, family. Every time, family. I'm not messing with these, these familiar spirits. So when these familiar spirits see me and they see me from afar, they know. They not and I'm not talking but I'm not talking like right now if you looked up if you looked up what a familiar spirit is it's probably going to tell you Google probably say something like well that's some type of worship and it's pertaining with a uh a uh, you a dog being possessed by a demon. I'm not talking about that family. They trying to get your mind off of what the hell it is. I'm telling you what it is, what a familiar spirit is. And we done went over this many, many, many times before. But I guess some of my brothers out there are not listening to what the father told you. Now, listen to what I said about them. Now, we're not going to get into how they go, they want to lurk and they watching you and they want to get in your life. Remember what your brother told you. They want to beat you. They want to do all these things to you. I'm not playing with you. So as you look, as I look at these familiar spirits, they can't get into my life like that. But I see them looking at the corner and it's the same damn demon, even though he has possessed some other person. The eyes don't lie, family. The eyes don't lie, family. They don't. So when you when you start noticing all these familiar spirits that you let latch on to your life or maybe it's just one that really want to be in your life, family. But when you get when you break yourself with these familiar spirits that want to be in your life, you will get to notice them from a distance because I see them, family, and they be looking at me. They be looking at me hard than a mug and it's the same one family it is the same familiar spirit doing the same how the same gestures you know what i'm saying they do they act the same that's how i know they they the same damn spirit family that's how i know because they act the same it's it's 19 it's 1989 and you still acting the same you still like the same demons like the same stuff family you know what i'm saying they never change you know what i'm saying if that demon like that pacific thing back then he gonna like it nowadays they don't change their ways so you be able to notice in how they how they project themselves because they don't change family they the same Damn spirit, family. The same damn spirit, family. So, um, so that's how you, that's how you know, family. That's how you know what they, um, what they, de your brother telling you what they demonic, they, they demonic behavior. You know what I'm saying? Look, look in their eyes, family. Look at their gestures. Look how they, look how they move around and move their body. That's, they will always be acting like that. All the things that they do. As soon as you let some, them into your life, they're going to do that until you're destroyed. So um, let's move to the next one, family. Now, God, God will send a spirit on a person of never being satisfied so they can drink all they want, eat all they want, play all they want. That spirit God put on them, they will be unsatisfied with things in their lives until they die that's why they consume so much things but them themselves are not satisfied having god will set them free so these people i'm talking about this is this is why you see them family you see them and they just never satisfy family they got the finest female she's fine she's beautiful she has everything she got good she, she smell good everything family she's good he not satisfied family he 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 wanna he wanna step out and he wanna find something else, even though he got the most beautiful his queen right right before his face that the father has blessed him with. He he don't he don't he's not satisfied, family. He's not satisfied with that. So even though on her job, she's the best of the best of the best. There is nobody on that job better than this sister. Ain't nobody better than her. You know what I'm saying? Those, there's nobody who work at that whole building. In the last 10 years that put in as much work as this sister, but she's not satisfied. You know what I'm saying? She's want, she want more and more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? That brother, he can't be satisfied with your sex, sister. 
He he can't. Brother, she can't be satisfied with your sex because the most high has put a spirit un, of unsatisfied. So she can eat all she wants. She's not going to be satisfied. He can drink all he wants, family. He's not going to be satisfied. So this is how they these people live their lives until they die. They consume their whole selves with all of this stuff, all of this stuff. All them cars will never bring them satisfaction. All them diamonds, all them jewelries, all them homes, all them fancy stuff, all the finer things in life, family, will never bring them happy. And they will never be satisfied with anything. That's why they always want more and more and more and more and more. Because God has sit there and put this spirit of them not being satisfied, family. So you get with this person and you make your life a living hell. You curse yourself by being with this person and then you end up being like them and you're not satisfied because you didn't took pleasure in the unsatisfied spirit that God put on that other damn person, family. This is why you see them and they just never satisfied. They just always want more and they conniving to get it. They would do anything to get it, even though it's not going to bring them no satisfaction. It's all on these spirits that the most high Yah sends out on people. A lot of people don't like to recognize that God sends spirits out on people to affect them in their life for good or bad, family, for good or bad, either to kill them or to bless them or to make them do something. You 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 be like, OK, well, God, he he uh, he let us got free real. He got us. We have free will. We have free will. But if God is using a person, he's going to put a spirit on them to do something, family. And he is not a respecter of men, of person, Don't, no matter where you live at. You know what I'm saying? No matter where you live at, he is not a respecter of person. He uses anybody he wants to use. So if God put a spirit on you to do something, you're going to do whatever the Most High told you to do. You can't get out of that. So do we have free will? Yes, we have free will. But Either you know it or not, the most high is going to use you. You know what I'm saying? He's going to use you to do certain things. Either you know it or you don't. Either you want to or you don't. Now, if God would do that, what do you think the opposite of that would be with the evil that's in the world? What, what do you think that that would be? It's the same damn thing, family. It's the same damn thing. He's going to do the same damn thing that I just explained to you. You know what I'm saying? The evil is going to use other people. You know what I'm saying? It's going to use them. It is. If God, if God is doing that. So, as you look at these people who are never satisfied, just know the reason why they are not satisfied is because the spirit that God has put over that person. And as long as they be disobedient, the only thing that's going to set that person free from that not being satisfied is them turning to God. But you see that they, they don't be satisfied. And watch, watch, watch. Since you think I'm playing in your own life, I'm talking about people you know. You know what I'm saying? When you come to the show, I'm telling you about people you know. That's what's going to happen to them. You know what I'm saying? It, that's why it's so important to get your stuff together. But watch these people in your life, family. And I'm telling you that you're going to watch them be unsatisfied to the day that they die. And this is why. Because they never turn to God to set them free. And things of this world, even if God didn't even put the spirit on them, family, it still ain't going to bring, you know, happening. So you still going to have to turn to God. So people, people will look at this like it's a game or something. They want to lie to the people. You, you ain't got to think about God. You ain't got to. They ain't going to be passing, you know, cold water in hell. There is none. Who are you going to trust? Who are you going to step out on? You know what I'm saying? Who are you going to trust? Tonight, when you tucked in your little, your, your bed and it's all warm and all cozy and you all warm, who are you going to believe in? Because I'm telling you right there, when your ass is burning, whoever you listening to, if they not talking like me, they going to have your ass messed up. They going to have you in a place that you don't want to be because they the ones who sitting here playing games with you. They the ones that's getting your mind off of things that, they, that your mind need to, things that your mind don't need to be off of, family. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to think about anything that you want to think about. But when it comes to God, he needs to be at the forefront because can't nobody else get you out of hell. I can't get you out of hell, brother. <laughs> I can sit up here with all this goodness and educate you and give you all this love, wisdom and knowledge, all this understanding given to the, me by the most high. Yah. Hallelujah. Father, Yah, for you are worthy. You are mighty. You are just and you are true. Blessed be your name forever. But I can sit up here and I can give you all this goodness. But it's still up to you, family. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame nobody else for that. You can't blame nobody else for him dumping you off in hell, family. Hell is a real place that exists, 
that people people like to sit there and play games like, oh, it don't exist. You are really you are really listen to this person. They're alive. They ain't even dead. Family, they alive. They they ain't even been down there. But at nighttime, they terrify when them demons come up over there, plaguing them with the place that they going to have to go because night terrors. If you ain't got God in your life, the devil is going to come do all kind of crazy things to you in your sleep. That's why that's been going on. Now, they would not like to admit that, but they will be suffered through that all day long because they are cursed. You know what I'm saying? They are cursed. So who are you going to run with? Who are you going to listen to? God is good. God is great. God, and God, I'm, I'm here with you. You know what I'm saying? Who are you going to run with? Don't insult on people. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they think. If you ain't if if you ain't worrying about your everlasting soul, something is wrong with you. Side note, side note, side note for the day. Now, side note for the day. Most people know what got what good and evil is before they can spell their name. And people still think that hell doesn't exist. Me, I would not even chance it. Side note for the day. Now, let's move to the next one. That's my, my, my side note, family. You know your brother. <laughs> um, let me take a drink of water and we'll get at this next one. Give me a second, family. Think about that side note. Look at, look at the side note, family. Many people, before they even know how to spell their name, they know what good is. They know what, they know what evil is. And people really think in their head that hell don't exist, family. Now, before a little person can even write their name and understand this is how you spell your name. They know of good and they know of evil. So you're going to have to think about that while you've been bombarded with all these damn lies. You listen to them people and they're not telling you the real family. That's the problem. That's the problem right there. Okay, now, the spiritual leader, the father, the advisor to God and the powers to has the power to bless his sons and daughters. People must listen to their mothers. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop now. If you don't listen to your mama, God is going to curse you. God wants you to fear your mama. He wants you to fear her. You know what I'm saying? He don't want you sitting there just playing with your mama like, oh, mama, I love you. God wants you to fear your mama. Why is that? Because he know if you don't, he will curse you. You know what I'm saying? He will curse you. So God wants you to fear your mama, but love her. But then when it comes to your father, your, your, your dad, he is the spiritual advisor in the house. And he has he is the only one that has the right to bless his sons or daughters. So let's let's go ahead and get back into this. So um the father, the the advisor of God has the power to bless his sons and his daughters. People must listen to their mothers, but only the father can give the anointment to their children. It is no it is so important for the father's blessing. You must anoint and bless your children with the the good things you see them you see in them. So God so God can bless these things in them more abundantly in the will of the Father on their lives. This is much more than a birthright or an inheritance, is much more important and valued than all the things the Father's is the Father blessing. And we are not talking about a marriage blessing. So so look at that family. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. You you really got to uh teach your kids about the the Lord. You you have to teach your kids. Now, it is very important for the father of that house, the spiritual advisor of that home, you know what I'm saying? Of that family to anoint his children. Now, me uh, from what from what I've learned and what I what I've seen is that God already put these things into our children. You know what I'm saying? He put all these certain things into, in, into your children. So ask God to bless those things, family. Ask God to bless those things that you see in them, family, more abundantly for his will. Now, 
This this is this is way more. I'm I'm telling you, family. This is way more than an inheritance or a birthrights. Some 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 stuff that you can give your kids. The anointment that you put over your kids. I suggest you use olive oil, blessed olive oil, in the name of Yahshua. I anoint your children from the from the top of their head. But I ask that you anoint them with. Your blessings, the father, the advisor in the house, family, it is very important that you anoint your children, family. It is very important for you to teach them, for the father to teach them, and for him to anoint them with his blessing, family. With the father's blessing, it is very important, family, to for you to be blessed by your father. It is very, very important, family, for the things that you do into this life. Now, we already, we already covered it because it is... The next one is 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 much more than a um, an inheritance. It is much more than a birthright. It is more. It's more. It's more important. It's more valuable than that. You know what I'm saying? So, I suggest that you anoint your sons and your daughters with the things that you see in them. Anoint those things that you see in them, so the Father can bless those things more abundantly in His own will, family. In the name of Yahshua. For the ones who understood what I said, you understand it completely. I put time in it too, so I know you understand what I mean. For those who have sons or daughters. Now, now if the if the devil wants to steal all, all of your stuff, what else does he, he want to take away from, from you? The only the only one protecting your stuff is God. But look, look, look at this. The devil wants to steal. I'm sorry, family. Damn commercials. Google, can you please stop? Google, 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 Google. What's going on, Google? Why you got to be putting commercials all up on my show? Is you going to pay me for a commercial? You pay me for a commercial. I do your commercial. What is this when you want me to promote? I do it. You pay me. I will do it. I'll pay, pay me. <laughs> and I will put your commercial. I talk about it and everything. <laughs> Pay me, pay me, <laughs> Fat Boy Fish, and you can put up any commercial at the end of the show. I promise you, Google. Now, um, and fake, and and who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, YouTube. <laughs> pay me, and you can put up whatever commercial you want up. Pay me, and you put up any commercial at the end of the show. The end. <laughs> About a 30 second commercial that somebody can skip. I wouldn't even be mad at that, Google. I would not be, but you're gonna have to pay. You're gonna have to come out of pocket. Y'all got money. Quit acting all broke and all cheap and stuff. Y'all acting all ruggedy and all broke. Google, is you broke? <laughs> is you broke, Google? I didn't think so. You need to kick down some coins. Um, YouTube, is you broke? Are you strapped for cash? Are you broke? <laughs> Quit acting all broke and all desperate and stuff. And if you want some advertisement, you're gonna have to come out of pocket. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a Kevin and Packy. Yes, you are. You're going to come out of pocket in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. You ain't playing over here. Where was we at, family? I'm sorry. <laughs> now, if the devil wants to steal all of your stuff, what else, what else does he want to take away from you? The only one protecting your stuff is God. You know that, right? The only one who's protecting your stuff is God. But look at this. The devil wants to steal away your joy and your glad heart and, and your spirit. He wants, he, he wants you to, to walk around with that S-H-I-T on your face and a broken heart. Oh, heck no, family. Not only do he want me to walk around with S-H-I-T on my face, he wants to break my heart, family. This... This guy, he, he not playing with you, family. He, he, he really not playing with you. The evilness that's in this world. What did I write down? He wants to take the, the, the gladness out of your heart. He wants to take your joy. He wants to break your heart. You know what I'm saying? He wants to break your heart. And what else? He want to put that S-H-I-T on my face? No, family. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, family. I'm going to walk with my, my, my father. I'm going to trust in my father. I'm going to love my father. I'm going to honor my father. I'm going to be strengthened by my father. I'm going to be blessed by my father. I'm going to be in my father's will. I'm going to be rolling with the most high. Yeah. And as long as I'm rolling with him, how the devil going to break my heart? Family, how he going to try to come steal my joy? How is he going to try to put that S-H-I-T on my face if I'm running with God, family? So... As I look at him trying to break my heart, mm, no, nah, my heart belongs to the Father. Okay, let's keep going, family. 
Okay, he will he will break your heart. He he will let him <laughs> he will take away your joy. Will you will you let him steal your happiness away? Because we as people have to go into his tricks of the trade. So he has tricks of the trade, family. And in his tricks of his trades, he brings out stuff that'll break your heart. He sure want to steal your gladness. He don't want you having no joy at all. For some reason, evil wants to put S-H-I-T on your face, family. Don't let him do you like that, family. I'm telling you, that's why people be miserable because they be letting him get at him. Yes, it is him, family. It is, it is him. And we ain't talking about the hand of God. You don't want that. We talked about that last night. I'm talking about him, family. And you're going to have to deal with him, family. Don't let him steal all the goodness that God has given you. The, the, the happiness, family, with his tricks of the trade. Because he is trying every single day, family. Every single day, this coward is trying with his tricks. He's trying with his tricks to steal away your joy. Be on guard. Guard your heart. Guard your mind. And know that if he trying to, if he trying to break your heart, that's him trying to mess with your emotions. Be on your guard of your heart, family, because it starts from your mind to your heart, family. Don't give in to him trying to take away your joy. Not at all, family. Don't give in to that. Okay, moving on. I'm sorry, family. I gotta take another drink of water. Hold on, family. We almost finished here tonight, family. We got we got a little bit to go over, just a little bit more. But you know how your brother is. I'm not for I'm not for to sit here and cheapen you. And if it take a whole hour to get through this, guess what? You just learned something. You just been blessed. You just been here with your brother, and we've been chilling together. I told you, family, this is a two way street. <laughs> this is a two way street, and it's not it's not just because okay. I'm helping you, but you helping me, family. You are. You think, okay, I'm sitting down here and I'm listening to everything that he's saying, but you helping me as much as I'm helping you, family. It's a two-way street. Some people would not never expect that or want that to come through, but it's a two-way street, family. We talked about that yesterday. Now, okay, um, family, um, let me let me ask you a question. What can what can evil do to you that God will not do to you are going to have you are going to have to fear one or the other for both of these powers will consume you and overtake you one or the other. They, they tell you not to worry when your life hangs in the balance of good or evil. There is no in between or hiding place. Some people will, will never mature to this simple fact of life. Doomed by their own judgment, family. By their own judgment, family. They are doomed. So uh, let's, let's, let's go back to that. Even though it's this simple, family, your whole life is just wrapped up to this good and evil thing. People, they, they, they just don't understand that, family. And they would like to take to the grave that these principalities and these things don't exist. Even though, even though they face it every single day, family. You cannot be deceived by these human, that these other people. You can't be deceived by these people, family. Just because they going down there don't mean you got to go down there and burn and suffer and be in agony with them. You ain't got to go chill in the hot box, family. So you have to be on your guard that. If you let these people around you and the things that they believe in, that's eventually going to run off on your, your, your mindset, family, your way of thinking and things that you be thinking of and things that you be doing because of the people that you hang around. And these people are consumed to the day that they die. And God has made it so even simple, even though they face against two principalities that I don't care who you is, family, you won't be able to get away with that one. You won't be able to get out of it. You won't be able to get around it. You won't be able to get across it if you don't have God with you and you're going to be consumed by either or because either or of these principalities are not playing with you now God hates those who hate him by you not serving God you automatically hate him because you're not doing what God is telling you to do now okay you're not covered with God power now the devil the devil hates you too now the devil if he can't use you what can he do with you if you have stepping with him 
If you have stepping with him, he going to hate you too, family. You know what I'm saying? You won't be covered by his power, but then his power come to a limit because God's power outshines all. So people who are protected by evil power, that only lasts for a little bit of time, family. So that's why I'm saying these two powers of these two principalities of these overwhelming forces that is in the here and now that a lot of people do not want to acknowledge it's right in your face family and god has made it this damn simple there is good and there is evil let's move to the next one family because they'll fight with they'll fight with you to the day they die they be sitting on their damn deathbed family about to die and they'll see the damn what is his name the, 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 the archangel of death right before their bed and they still would be acting like it never existed family they would family they would have some of them are so damn cold family that they would have a near-death experience and still say that god isn't real you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of trickery going on family and you gotta watch you gotta watch the things that these these people who's pulling these tricks I'm not saying that everybody is pulling tricks, but if they don't love God, my eyes would be on them. If they don't love God, if they don't love the most high Yah, you need to be you need to be really watching them. You know what I'm saying? So let's okay, let's move to the next one. Now, we we as black people in this country cannot escape who we are and who are the people that we came from. They're, they're dealing with the, or their dealings with the most high Yah. Whatever they did, we do. We can't, we can't escape that. Let me prove it to you now. Let me prove that to you, family. Like, I tell you that all the time, family. I tell y'all, your ancestors, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got covenants and all this stuff that's signed directly with you now. Other people, other people can lie. They can sit up here and lie all they want and say, well, well, we these people, they can say whatever they want. You still have to deal with all these things God is going to do to you if you, if you, if you see, if you oblivious, if you're not. So, so the reason why so many of us are killed off, family, is the reason why we are killed off, family, because he's doing stuff to us. So it, it, it doesn't really matter if you believe, if you believe in him or not. He's still going to do all these things no matter what anybody says, family. So they can say whatever they want to say. God is still going to curse you and only you. You see them do the same things and don't nothing happen. That should make you wake up and understand. You know what I'm saying? And you sitting over there suffering. You sitting over there suffering, going through all of that stuff. And you seeing them walk around like nothing ain't going on with them. Ain't nothing ain't going. It's, he's showing you right in your face and you still don't believe. You still don't believe. But we already talked about that. It's so many different spirits on our on our people down here. And that's why your brother say a lot of a lot of us is not going to make it because of what God is doing, family of what God me. I'm here to strengthen what, you know, what you already having to build that already up and to grab so many different of the who don't believe. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to grab all the ones who really don't believe. I'm get all I'm going to get all of them in the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. Amen. But the ones who already know I'm here to strength, strengthen them, give all of them the strength. And they already know that. So. Let me prove it to you now. This with how we are now. Let me finish reading. Now, family, look at look at Jacob. Look at him, family. He had two wives and his wives gave him their maids, two wives. So he had four wives and all together they bore him 12 sons. So how is that any different from black men today? They have four baby mamas and 16 children. We can't escape who we are, what we are and what we to do in the in the in the front of the most high Yah. We are his people, so we do things no differently than they did. One day you will wake up about the understanding that all that I have told you is the truth. You're welcome, family. You are welcome, family. For all the things that I say, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to actually understand that everything that I told you was the truth. You are welcome, family. From, from your boy, Jehoshaphat, you are welcome. Now, family, I just proved it to you loud. Look at Jacob, family. He had four wives. How is that any different than your cousins and your brothers and your uncles and all your, all your friends and them? They got four baby mamas. They got 12 
children. You know what I'm saying? So how was that any different from their that their uh our forefather, Jacob, how was that any different than our grandfather, Jacob? How is that any different, family? We still do the same things that we do back then. We do it to this day. We might call them different things, but we are still doing the same things that we were doing back then. Look at the people who say that they, the people, do they do things like we do? Do they do things like people did in the Bible? Do they? They do not, family. They do not. So you're still doing the same things that your ancestors did. Either you believe it or not. Because these are all things that God put us on to be a sight and amazement throughout all these people. We act just like they act, even though we don't call it the same things, family. Now, they called it marriage. We call it baby mamas. Um, he had four wives. We just call it four baby mamas. Um, he had 12 sons. I'm not even counting his daughters. But you see your folks. You see your uncle them. You see your cousin in them, you see your brother in them, your homies in them, all of them, family, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Your dad's in them. They got all these baby mamas just no different than our ancestors did, family. You know what I'm saying? Your great-great-grandfather, no different than him because you the same damn people the Bible is talking about. One day you're going to wake up and you're going to understand you're welcome, family. You are welcome, family. Okay, moving to the next one. Remember what, remember what God has promised you and... And know that you might have to fight for it. Me, I'm here now and I will and I will fight for the promises he gave me. And there's no. No, I must. There is no ifs, buts or maybes. You must fight for what you have. So you got to ask, you got to ask yourself, how bad do you want it? You know what I'm saying? How bad do you want it? You know what I'm saying? Do you need do you need it? It might be your life, family. All I know is that you must be willing and able to fight for what God has promised you. You must you you meet You might have to fight evil. You might have to fight the Almighty Himself to get it. He, He who lives forever. So, um, let me read this back, and then I'm gonna break it down to you because I, I feel like I stumbled my words in it. Now, remember, remember what God has promised you, and know that you might have to fight for it. Me, your brother, I know that now. I will. I probably will have to fight. For the promise he gave me. And there's no if, buts, or maybes. You must fight for it. You have to ask yourself, how bad do you want it? You know what I'm saying, family? How bad do you want it? That promise he gave you, you, it might be your life, family. It might be your life. The promise he gave you, it might be your life, family. To be serious with you, family. For what God has promised, you might have to fight evil. You might, family, you might have to fight the almighty himself to get it. The one who lives forever. So check this out, family. How bad do you want that promise that God, that he promised you? Don't play games with me. I know the promise that he promised you. You know what I'm saying? I know he promised you something, family. Are you listening to me, brother? Do you hear me, sister? That, that one thing that, that God promised you, you might have to fight for it, family. You, gonna, you might have to fight some evil for it. How bad do you want that? You know what I'm saying? Do you want it bad? I want it bad, family. I'm willing to fight for it. I'm willing to fight this damn evil for it, family. The father knows I'm ready to fight him if I have to, family. It might be my life. So these promises that he makes to, uh, to you, are you willing to fight for it? How bad, family? How bad do you want it? Do you want it? I'm willing to fight for it, family. If I have to fight this damn evil to get it, I'm, I'm going to do that in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach, family. You call him Jesus Christ. In the name of Yeshua, family, I'm going to fight for it, family. And if I have to, if I have to fight the Almighty Himself for it, I'm going to have to do that, family. It might be my life. Are you willing to fight for these promises, family? Have you forgot? Did you forget what it was? Ask Him to remind you. He promises all, all these things, family. Are you willing to fight for it? Now, 
as I did this message right here, all of my energy, you won't even feel it like that, family, because I'm not in the person. You know what I'm saying? You're only getting half of it. Just imagine if you was in my presence and you just felt all the energy that I'm putting forth on these messages. Now, let's keep it moving, family. So, family, that's a real serious question that I'm asking you. Are you, are you willing to fight for that? Are you going to fight for it, sister? You're going to have to fight for it, brother. You might have to fight for it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's good. It's good. Whatever he promised you. But what if he want to see you have to fight for it? What if you have to fight him for it? You're going to have to fight the almighty for it, family. I'm thinking he knows that now with me. I, and, I, and I learned that. So I'm going to tell you, you might have to fight him, family. Okay, now moving to the next one. But it's not like a disrespectful fight. Remember, remember, um, remember, um. Remember, remember Israel, family. Remember, he had to fight. He had he had to fight. But God already made him that promise. Do I have to go through the full story? I, I promise I will. I would. God willing, I'll go through the, the story. But God made him a promise, family. And in the situation, he looked like he was in dire straits, even though God was still going to provide for him and do the thing that he wanted him. He wanted Israel to do, but he still God wanted to see Israel still fight for it. God wanted to see how bad Israel wanted to or he never would have made him walk with a limp family. He never would have made him wrestle all single night to fight with the almighty father. If he didn't want him to work for it, if he didn't want him to fight for it, if he didn't want to see how bad he wanted. Sometimes God wants to see how bad you want it, family. The mighty Yah wants to see how bad you are willing to fight for it, sister. The almighty father, he wants to see how bad you are willing to fight for it, brother. You got to put that inside of your mind. So I'm asking you today, family, how bad do you want it, family? How bad do you want it, family? Okay, moving to the next one, family. We are almost out of here for today. And I said that you're, you're, okay, we went over that, okay, remember, yep, we went over that one too, we're making good on time, okay, last one, family, last one, family, last one, I thought I had more than that to go into, but I don't, I went, I think I went through every single one, family, because look, God will send spirits on a person that's, that's satisfying. Remember, we was talking about spirits that's on your people that you know that spirit, uh, got them unsatisfied spirits. Remember, we talked about the, the demonic behavior of familiar spirits. We talked about that. Remember, we talked about are you going to are you willing? Are you willing to overcome this evil that's going to try to overcome your life? We talked about that as well. We we talked about. um how we how we are of the same people, no different than our ancestors. I just proved that to you through your ancestors, through things that we do to this day. Now, the, the promises, we went over that. OK, and. I asked you, family. I asked you, who are you going to fear, family? You're going to have to make up your mind to fear one because either you want to or not. Both of these forces is going to overtake a person. They don't have to like it. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to like it. And they will be used by, like puppets if they're not on the right side. So as these two combining forces that overcome any man or any woman on this earth, you're going to have to you're going to you're going to have to make a choice. Who am I going to trust in? And the saddest thing about this family, you you either going to do either or. You know what I'm saying? Either you know it, either you physically conscious, either you believe it or not. You, you, you're going to give in and you're going to do these two things. You're either going to do good or you're going to do evil. For it is only good and evil in this world. Don't let these people fool and deceive you, family. You know the truth. You know the truth just like when you was a little kid before you even knew how to write your name. You knew it was some evilness in this world. Okay, now. Now, we talked about the spirit. We talked about it, family. We talked about the, the, the man. The head of the house, my brothers out there, you have to anoint your children. It is so important for you to anoint your sons and your daughters. They need their father's blessing. They daddy. They need their daddy blessing in their in they lives. So father, he can bless them more abundantly with the things that he has already put in them. Family, you're going to have to do that, family. Okay, now we went over that. Got that off the list. Got that, got that, got that. Okay. Family, your brother, y'all still been high off the love of God all morning, walking in love. Family, you're going to have to come get some of this in your life. You're going to have to come experience this real love that God has for you, family. He has so much. 
Okay, we okay, we down to the last one, family. Last one, and I'm gonna go ahead. Your brother gonna go ahead and get up off of here for today. We've been going for now at least like 30 minutes. I know we have almost an hour, family. Thank you for um stand standing in there with you. Make sure that you come be blessed at this nine o'clock prayer hour. Special shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who's been on this grind for this nine o'clock prayer hour. Peace, blessing, God's favor, God's protection, God's loyalty, God's faithfulness, God's favor, God's blessing be upon you in Yeshua precious name for y'all at the top of the list family because y'all y'all trying y'all in my heart. Act like you know. I know you praying for me because I'm praying for you. Special shouts out to my brothers and sisters out there. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Now, yeah, come get yourself. Um, don't, don't, don't be deceived, family. Don't be misled. Don't go down that road to be deceived. Come get yourself. Some of this nine o'clock prayer hour. Some of this holy, sanctified, san uh, sanctioned. Nine o'clock per hour. Come get yourself some. Don't let this evilness of this world deceive that you can do something great for others that you you won't see. Family, even though you you God is using your blessings to carry across this whole world to bless all of these different people. You won't even see these people and you still helping them. Family. Come get yourself some. Don't be deceived. Now, you know, your brother, I got to tell you, God wants to give you some power. You know that father, he got so much power and strength on him. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a mighty God. It's a reason why they call him the most high. Yah. you know what I'm saying? It's a reason why they call him the Lord of hosts. You know what I'm saying? The God of all creation. So he wants to give you some strength, family. I suggest that you come get some. Now, I suggest that you cast down all of your problems before the mediator for Yeshua. He's the mediator between us and God. You better be thankful. I'm thankful he our mediator, family. That means if we didn't have him, God wouldn't be listening. Nothing we'd be talking about, family. So come cast down your problems so the, the Lord can hear them. You know what I'm saying? The mediator. So he can hear them, family. You know what I'm saying? Come get some of this wisdom and come get some of this knowledge from the Holy Spirit. We talked about him yesterday. People going to have to stop fighting with him and understand. You know what I'm saying? Understand what he is saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to get into that. But come get some of this wisdom and some of this knowledge that the Holy Spirit has through you, through the power of God, family, through the power of y'all, family. Come get some of this power. Come say prayers on the behalf of people that can be set free, family. Hallelujah. Amen. For your father, he is worthy. Come say some prayers on the behalf of your people to be set free, family. Now. All glory given to the most high Yah, for he is worthy. Come get yourself some, family. Come get yourself some of this nine o'clock prayer hour. Hallelujah. Amen. Now. Now, God, he curses the fruits of our bodies and our minds. That's why so many people go crazy. But you you have been wondering, why is it that you are you you are that that the age of your friend and is this and y'all the same age your friend is the same age but they look much older than you the most high yah curses the body to 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 age for sin we do in our lives look at me family remember remember what i look like the only reason why i look I look so young is because I'm not sinning family, but your friend, look how old they look, how old they look. They, they're more, the more they sin, the more God robs away their looks and their body. So if you want to look and be young, stop sinning. It's, it's that simple family. The more sin anyone does, they steal their own youth. I got to say that again, family. The more sin anybody does, they steal their own youth. They rob from their own self what they sin. So um, they own youth and can find themselves to, to older ages with their sin evil and die young looking old, even though they are they they are your age. They are young, but they die looking 
looking looking their parents age. So you you've been wondering, family, you, you've been really wondering. You'd be like, man, why is it that me and Tim, we the same age, but he look way more older than I look. You know what I'm saying? You've been wondering. You've been wondering. You've been like, why Tiffany? Why she? She we the same age, but she look like she like 20 years older than me. She looks older as my parent. You know what I'm saying? You've been wondering, sister. You know what I'm saying, brother? You've been wondering because they've been robbing from their own youth with the sin that they do, family. With the sin that they do. Go look in the mirror. The only reason why you look as young as you do, because you're not sinning. You're not giving in to sin. So the more sin anybody does will rob them of their youth. So if you want to look young, you want to be vibrant. You don't you don't want to look like your parents. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to look all old like your uncles and your auntie and them. You're going to have to stop sinning, family. God has made it this simple and people still choose to do sin evil, family. They still choose to do sin evil. That's what robs from their good looks. That's why stuff starts to sag. That's why people start saying they, they look like your grandparents and they as old as you is, family. They as old as you, family. So... Like your brother said, God curses the fruits of our body. We ain't even going to get on your mind, family. I told you, he, he let people go crazy. You know what I'm saying? He want people going crazy. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk about your body. He curses the body to age real fast. Do you want to look like your grandmama? It can happen to you. Sis, do you hear me? Brother, do you want to look like your uncle? Keep on sinning. Keep on sinning. He going to add 25 extra years on you even though your ass is 18. Play with the most high y'all if you want to. Okay, moving to the next one. I only got a couple more, family. And your brother, I'm going to go ahead and get up off of here. Peace and blessings be upon you all. And Yahshua's precious name, for he is the Lord. All glory given to the Most High Yah, for he is worthy, for he is mighty, for he is just, and he is true. Blessed be his name forever and ever and ever, for he is the mighty one of Israel. No, 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 no. He's the mighty one of this earth. Hallelujah. Now, check this out, family. Family, can I can I be truthful for a second from my heart? We have to to work real hard to get back the things that take that God takes away from us. Look at look at my booty with with hard work and obedience, <laughs> following his laws his statutes and his commandments. He will return my butt. <laughs> But to my my butt to his former greatness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want my butt back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing, but I'm mighty serious up over here. Yeah, I'm playing with you. I made you laugh. I want my butt back. But I'm serious, family. I want my butt back. I'm going to have to be obedient. I'm going to have to follow all his laws. I'm going to have to follow all his commandments. I'm tired of rocking and running on pillows. I'm so tired. I got to tie up my pants extra tight because <laughs> I ain't had no booty. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. None, family, none. <laughs> what is it? Swipey, no swipey. <laughs> swipey, no swipey. I ain't got no butt, family. Help. Help me. <laughs> okay, let me get back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm I'm serious, family. I know I'm playing with you, but I'm serious, family. If I want to get my butt back to his former greatness, I'm going to have to follow all these laws. <laughs> all these statues, all these commandments. I'm tired of riding on pillows and stuff. Family, look behind me. I ain't got nothing back there, family. Just nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, I have to work for it. In times, it is the only thing that will show him I mean it. So, family, so me messing at a young age that came back to pay me. All I have to do is turn around and look at my butt, family. So, the things that he take away from us, we're going to have to work extra hard to get these things back. Now, I was rebellious when I was a child, family. I was rebellious and I was stupid and I was... All of those things that make up just a regular man... Burning and crashing before he can really learn how to serve. You got to learn how to serve your father. You got to learn how to love him. You got to learn how to respect him. You got to learn how to honor him. You got to learn how to fear him. Those are things that you must do on your own. Can't nobody give that to you, family. Them people like to lie to you. you. I'm telling you, you can't be lying to God. He sees right through your bull. So what was said, family, for these things that we want that he takes away from us, we're going to have to work real hard through our obedience of his laws, of his statutes, of his commandments. Hallelujah. 
Now, last one, family, and I'm going to go ahead and get up off of here for the, the day. Uh, have, have your brother told you I love you? Hallelujah, amen. Have your brother told you I thank you for spending the time with me? Hallelujah. Have your brother told you that this is a two-way street <laughs> and you can help somebody else with the same stuff we've been talking about? You can help somebody else, brother, with the same stuff I'm telling you, brother. Sister, is you listening? You can help somebody with it. So let's finish this last one and your brother's going to get up off of here. Peace and blessings be upon you in Jesus and Yeshua's precious name. All glory given to the Most High, for he alone is worthy. Bless all of Zion and all of the saints of this earth in Yeshua's precious name. Now, some questions you ask God, he will answer immediately. Some questions he will make you wait on it. Some questions he will make you work to find the answers. However, you look at at, at the he answers our questions. However, you look at it, he answers our questions. Let let him in. So look at look at how God, how he operates, family. You got to love the most high. Yeah. Sometimes he answers our questions immediately. Family, I mean, immediately. He just going to go ahead and, and bless you with that drool. He going to give you that answer. Some questions he will make you wait a long time, family. I mean, a long time. It might be it might be a month go by, but he ain't forgot. Have you? Because he's sure enough going to give you the answer because he is a great God. He is a faithful God and he is true. Blessed be his name forever and ever in Yeshua precious name for the most high. Yah. he is worthy. Now, um, some questions he will make you he will make you work for it, family. I mean that. I mean some of the questions that you ask God, he's just not gonna answer. He's just not gonna answer that question. He gonna want to make you. How bad do you want? He gonna make you work to find the answer. So let's run this back on how your father, how he operates. Now some answers that he's gonna automatically pay you. I mean at immediately, I at immediately, family. The sun will not fall before he gives you an answer. OK, now some questions he he will make you wait on it. So you're going to be waiting, family. Don't be discouraged because you got to wait on the most high y'all for him to answer your questions. It happens to the great of us, family. Do You know how many questions I got that I'm waiting on, family? <laughs> or he he will make you do your due diligence. He will make you search and find those answers, family. However you look at it. He will give you the answer. How bad do you want them? Now, this has been your brother Jehoshaphat. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and all my sisters out there in the world. Peace and blessings be upon you and Yeshua precious name for he is the Lord.